Good afternoon. Today we are off on a tour with Juan Mortacos, but this time we are in San Jose del Cabo, of course. So just like the last tour, we're headed out to discover locally owned and locally run places and to get a little taste of what the culinary scene on the street is like here in San Jose. So let's get eaten. We started the tour at the main square, where Pancho told us about some of the history of the town, which is much older than I first thought. We've got some more videos coming up this week talking more about the history, so let's get straight to the best things we ate. We've just come into the restaurant Mi Casa, which is uh, right in the downtown area. We're having a little margarita and uh, learning a little bit about the food culture here. It's such a beautiful restaurant. I wasn't sure we were gonna visit like restaurants as well as street food stalls, but we would probably not have come in here. Um, so this is why you do food tours, you guys. Places that you wouldn't normally choose are super cute. Mi Casa has a location both in San Jose and Cabo San Lucas. They're serving up traditional Mexican dishes like carnita sacos, tortilla soup, and a dish that we tried, cochinita pibil. But they were doing it in a slightly more elevated way than the tacos you might find on the street. So right here, guys, we're gonna try the cochinita pibil. Cochinita pibil is a marinade pork. This dish that comes from uh, all the south of Mexico and the other peninsula, Yucatan. You know, that's original from them. And they have a special condiment over there that they use in the cochinita. It's called achiote. That's the best. They served the tacos with a spicy habanero salsa. They also made beautifully fresh tortillas and a seriously good margarita. Our next stop was a little taco restaurant called Adelitas. It's completely family run with dad in the kitchen and his daughter taking our order and telling us about the different tacos that they offer. They specialize in cabeza tacos, which are cow head tacos, a delicacy around Mexico. We are at a little taco restaurant and we are about to try a cabeza taco, which is a cow head taco and tripa, which is stomach, stomach. Stomach lining, yeah, intestine tripe. taco. I've only ever had tripe in um, soup in Mexico before, so I'm interested to try it in a taco because I didn't like it in the soup. So uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Three pack. Another tray. <laughs> Good, Good luck. luck. <laughs> half and half. Yeah. <laughs> Put some salsa on it. With the lime juice. One. So when that goes. Oh, it's on? like crunchy. It's like. Yeah. Mm. I asked for a crispy one. Because sometimes it's, when it's soft, it's kind of chewy. Mm -hmm. But this crispy. <laughs> I think the problem is that I know what it is. <laughs> but actually, it feels like it's been fried. It's super crunchy. It's 
It tastes good. <laughs> the tortilla is delicious. I'll go for one more bite. You were doing Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I ate like a lot of that. Oh, my dice. Oh, you ate a lot of that. I did. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think with three bangles or the spicy and salsita. That sauce was good, but yeah. The cabeza. This looks really, really good. <laughs> It's like it's been cooked in some sort of like stew. Yeah, That's so really good. Like, very tender. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Glad I finished on this one. <laughs> mm. Mm. Really good. Put that to a shot. It's good. No food tour in Los Cabos would be complete without stopping for a Baja-style fish taco. So that was next on the list. Baja-style fish tacos are pieces of fish that are dipped in a light, fluffy batter and then fried. Served in a tortilla and usually topped with cabbage or lettuce and a nice spicy salsa. Up next, we headed into a little food market where there were several different stalls selling tacos, sushi, and pizza. The little taco spot here, Asadero y Burritos El Don, is grilling up meat on the barbecue, and we had a seriously delicious juicy pork taco with pastor seasoning and a huge slice of grilled pineapple. They had a few different spicy salsas to add, and the tortillas were a little bit crispy because they'd put them on the barbecue too. Overall, it had a really nice smoky flavor, but it was still so juicy and flavorful. Our last stop was at Mark Grill a place we've walked past several times along the main tourist street in San Jose. We wondered immediately about the name, since the family-run business didn't have anyone named Mark helping out. It turns out the owner, Meme, used to have a business partner from Brazil, and they always wanted to open a restaurant together. When his business partner had to leave Mexico before they could build their dream business, Meme told him when he finally started the restaurant, he would name it after him. Of course, his name was Mark. We had some of the best food of the night here. A freshly made sope, which is a thicker sort of tortilla. This was made with blue corn and it had a slight crunch to it, but it was still nice and soft in the middle. It was topped with chicken and beans, lettuce, avocado, tomatoes, fresh cheese, and Mexican crema. We finished with a modern take on a Mexican buñuelo, sort of like a small fried donut, but flat. This one had tons of fruit, guajillo chile, and a local honey on top. It was very delicious, clearly. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this food tour with us. It was so much fun to explore and to find all these locally run restaurants. Even though we've been here for two and a half weeks in San Jose del Cabo, these were all completely new to us places. So it was so much fun. This is why I love doing food tours because you end up in places that you wouldn't have picked or that you didn't even know existed uh, before you did it. So I will link below to Juan Mortaco so that you can check out their website and book their tours the next time you are in Los Cabos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. As always, you can follow along on Instagram where I post every single day all the different things that we're eating and getting up to around here. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.